conversations I had in the Dominican Republic about 10, 12 years ago with a good friend of mine at the time. His name was Jose Rijo, pitched for the Cincinnati Reds. He was a Dominican, and he invited me and my wife down to Santo Domingo to the uh, Teeth of the Dog golf course to uh, play in the Juan Marichal slash Jose Rijo golf tournament. So my wife and I fly to Miami, fly to Santo Domingo. He picks us up at the airport. We go. Great golf course. There was a dinner one night at some fancy country club in the Dominican Republic. And I'm sitting there, and I'm honored. On my right is Jose Rijo. Across the table from me is Juan Marichal and his wife, darling woman. Sitting next to uh, him was Mickey Mantle. Didn't have a woman with him at the time. Whitey Ford was there. Robin Roberts. Um... Yeah, a lot of the newer uh, the Dominicans were there. Barry Larkin was there. Some others, Tony Perez, Baseball Hall of Famer. So we're having this dinner, and part of the dinner was uh, it was a fancy. It was at a country club. And during the dinner, uh, I'm talking to Jose Rio, and most people were speaking in Spanish, but I don't speak it in Spanish, so Jose and I and some others were speaking in English. And across the table from me, uh, I saw Juan Marichal in some animated conversation with the uh, maitre d'. It was a fancy-dressed guy, light-skinned, which would have made Senator Harry Reid quite happy. And uh, I, I, they're speaking in Spanish, but I could tell that the maitre d' is apologizing, and Ho Juan marichal has got his finger pointing in his chest, going at him pretty good. It's all in Spanish. So this goes on, and they keep looking over their shoulder off to the corner of the room, and there's a, a dark-skinned, uh, which would have made Harry Reid unhappy, like a water boy, uh, off on the side of the room. So they go up to do it, to do it. It goes on, and, and I, after a while, I say, Jose, what are they arguing about? And, and Rio says to me, did you see what happened before? And I said, no, no, what are you talking about? He says, see that Haitian over there, the guy in the corner? And I look at this guy, and I said, well, I, yeah, I see the Haitian. Did you see what he did? I said, no, I didn't see what he did. He said he touched a water glass and put it in front of one of the women. He touched the water glass. I said, yeah, I, saw, I, I think I saw him place the water glass. He said, well, Haitians can't do that. I said, well, why can't they do that? He said, they're Haitians. They can't touch the food. They can't touch the silverware. They can't touch the water glasses. I said, why can't they? He said, they're Haitians, for God's sakes. And I said, Jose, pretend I'm stupid. Tell me what the problem is. He says, they're descendant from slaves. And we're descendants from the Spaniards. They're dirt. And there's a word for it. I wish someone, I didn't remember the word. It was like the N-word in, 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 in DR, Dominican Republic, that described the Haitians. Haitians in Dominican society are dirt. They're below the N-word. They work in the sugarcane fields, and they're not supposed to be around the descendants of the Spaniards because they're descendants of slaves, and they're Haitians. He described to me that if you find a Haitian doing something wrong, you can shoot them or kill them. Uh, he had a housing compound where a couple of Haitians jumped over the wall, and his police, his personal police, took the Haitians into the ocean, of course killed them, and just threw them overboard. They have no rights. There's nothing. So when I see reports out of Hisp Hispanola that the Dominicans are not helping the Haitians, I think back to that dinner when a Haitian has no rights that a Dominican has to follow. Nothing. And they can't touch the food that a Dominican would eat because they're slaves. And the Dominican is from the Spaniard. That's how bad it is. That's how bad the racism is in the Caribbean. That if you're dark-skinned, that means you came from a slave and you're dirt. If you're light-skinned... You came from a Frenchman or a Spaniard, in which case you're okay. And, and, and so when I think back to that conversation, and I had other conversations with other Dominicans about how the Haitians are treated, and it's below, below the N-word, whatever that word is. And that's the way most of the Caribbean looks at the Haitians, as dirt, as from the devil. So they get no help from Colombia, Venezuela, Cuba. Dominican Republic, because they're dark-skinned, and they're not light-skinned. You think there's racism in this country? You ain't seen nothing yet.